outside 94 our fishing access sign pointing across for two miles from the Waco exit let's ride down this road by these abandoned homesteads across the railroad tracks so we're on the other side of the train tracks from the interstate and the frontage road there's abandoned homesteads you got to drive by but it's no problem because you are here to the interstate here's the boat ramp and this is that's how much property there is for this state section so there's a lot of room to roam Captain Clark fishing access. We got a seven day stay limit for camping. It's not big enough for our big rig to get in here because the trees are too low. But there's a lot of open access camping spots. Lots of private camping all the way through. Waco exit. The river's a little low now because of uh, We'll go have a look at the boat ramp. Hey, you been down to the river? What did you find at the bottom of the ramp? I found a giant piece of ice. There's more up there, but it's really thick. It is thick. It's about like three inches. Looks cold out there. Uh -huh. Here's a little observation deck overhanging the river. Yellowstone. about 40 miles 30 miles from Billings just east of Billings the area extends out beyond here it's a pretty big area for hiking around and maybe ride your mountain bike it's not far enough to really get a lot of exercise on a bike but it is a fairly large area big squirrels Great big cottonwoods. Only seen one picnic table, but there's a lots of river access, not just the boat ramp. Oh, there's a deer right back here. I spooked. There's a lots of little pullouts like this. If you got a small pickup camper. You'd be all right to revan, but these trees are really hanging low. You want to be careful. In the spring and summer, the river would be would be running through this area. Nice place. About a mile off the highway. Over the train tracks.